Logan Tipton was their lineman, and they were supposed to be celebrating the end of the season with him. Instead, the Woodford County Yellow Jackets honored a little life cut short. You're watching WKYT. I'm Kristen Kennedy. Last Monday, Versailles police say Logan Tipton was murdered in his home in Woodford County. Logan played football with the Woodford Youth Football League. Tonight, he was honored at the team's annual end of the season banquet. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner attended. She has our top story at 11. Small town, big heart, and that heart isn't just found on the football field in Woodford County. The difficulty comes in explaining the unimaginable loss of Logan Tipton to six year olds. I had to explain it to him in such a way that he would comprehend it and hopefully not ask a whole lot of questions because the details of, of the whole tragedy. Some a six-year-old doesn't need to know. Their carefree minds shouldn't have to know this crime. He kept asking questions of how exactly it happened, you know, details. They know what they need to know about why number 63 won't take the field with them. I'm told at first Logan didn't want to play football. He's a little teddy bear, but once you got that football helmet on him, he didn't want to take it off. He's just a special kid, just such a great heartfelt kid, loved everybody he came into contact, into contact with, loved his teammates, obviously loved his mom and his dad and his family. On the football field, Logan's father, Dean, was also coach. He took the stage tonight along with his wife, Heather. Number 63 will forever remain a star on the field. This year's award for best offensive lineman, number 63, Logan Tipton. 16 best lineman and a retired jersey. The only boy of fall to suit up in 63 in the years to come will be Logan's younger brother. One of his youth leaders said, Logan, do you know what Jesus would really want? He would want your heart for Christmas, Logan. He replied, I know, Mr. Vetta. I already gave it to him. In Versailles. And I strive and I live the rest of my life trying to be half the man he was. Caitlin Sentner, WKYT. And fundraisers will continue throughout the coming week for the Tipton family. The Merrick Inn is hosting one for the Tiptons Tuesday.